Good evening, good evening. This is a quick video. I wanted to get out to the world. I pray every everyone that listens to this um, that has an opportunity to listen um, believes it with their heart. Uh, and I just wanted to go over a few things that I personally believe in my heart. And um, and that's just the truth. And there's only one truth that ever uh, was, and that is uh, Jesus. Um, this is what I believe. And uh, I believe that Jesus Christ was a real man. I believe that he really walked the earth. Um, at what time? Um, the scriptures don't really discuss dates. So I'm not sure. And I, I don't believe in man's history. So, you know, BC, AD, those years that they teach us in history, you know, I'm not too uh, worried about those. Those aren't in the scriptures. So, uh, but I do believe that the evidence is shown through the scriptures that Jesus Christ really was a man that, that walked the earth. Um, Evidence also shows that not only was he a man, um, but he was also um, he was actually God manifest in the flesh. Um, it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and the word was made flesh. Um, Jesus in Revelation 1 8 um, claims to be um, the almighty. And I believe that there is only one almighty um, and uh, the name of that almighty the almighty God is Jesus. Um, Jesus said, I am come in my father's name. So when he said that, I believe that um, the name of the father that he's referring to, um, God almighty is Jesus. Um, in Matthew 28, um, Jesus sent his uh, the disciples to baptize in the name singular of the father and of the son and of the Holy Ghost. And that one name is Jesus, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And that is Jesus. Um, but I believe that Jesus was a, a sinless man who walked the earth. He never sinned. Um, um, he came unto his own and his own received a not. He was a Jewish um, Jewish man and uh, he came unto the, his people first and they rejected him. Uh, they, uh, claimed that, um, he was speaking blasphemy and he was claiming to be God. So even the Pharisees were upset because he was saying things that was claiming to be God, uh, for those people out there who believe that Jesus was only a man. Um, uh, but Jesus was, uh, a man, he was a uh, flesh and blood, um, but he was also God. Um, and I believe, um, Jesus was 100% God and 100% man. And, uh, you know, he came unto his own people and his own received him not. They rejected him. Um, they desired Pilate for him to be slain. Pilate was a Roman ruler. And uh, they're the ones that desired Pilate for him to be slain. Pilate actually, um, you know, was trying to find the, the guilt that they were trying to, to crucify him on. Um, and, but that no, the Jews wanted Barabbas to be free. They wanted to crucify a sinless man um, and send Barabbas free. And that's what happened. And then he died on that cross and they buried him. But in three days, he defeated death and rose from the grade, grave. And he was seen risen among 500 witnesses of his witnesses, saw him alive after him being buried. Um, Thomas and John 20 didn't believe he had to see it with his own eyes um, and he had to actually touch it as well. Touch the, the, the wounds when Jesus was put on the cross. Um, I believe that um, Jesus is God. He claimed to be God um, in John 2 when um, he said, destroy this temple and I will raise it up in three days. And he spake of the temple of his body. Um, he didn't say, uh, my father will raise me up in three days. He didn't say, my father will raise my body up. He said, I will raise it up. And I believe that's what he meant. Um, he allowed, Jesus allowed Thomas to call him my Lord and my God. And as I'm reading in the Old Testament, um, they uh, praised and sang um, and, uh, you know, my Lord and my God. Well, God is a jealous God and we know there's only one God. 
Um, so all these things add up for me to believe with the scriptures to back them that Jesus is God manifest in the flesh. He came unto his own and his own received him not. The Jews desired Pilate for him to be slain. He died on a cross for the sins of the world. He was buried. He rose three days later and he was seen risen among his witnesses. And by believing that, that is the gospel of peace. That is the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is the gospel of salvation that we must believe in order to, for us to be saved. In Acts 16, 30 and 31, it says, And brought them out, it says, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. It's all about believing in the heart. John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I believe that is a true statement. I believe that God, through the scriptures, promises everyone on the on the earth uh, an opportunity at everlasting life. And everlasting life is not found on this earth. I believe that God will destroy this heaven and this earth and will create a new heaven and a new earth for kings and priests to rule and reign with him. And I believe that according to the scriptures, that is my only way to see Jesus to, to to be with Jesus um, saved eternally and that's what I believe in my heart and I preach that to my family try to preach that to the world and uh, that's what I believe so um, for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is a gift of God not of works lest any man should boast I pray that each and every person that watches this believes that in their heart and that is all I got. Amen. God is good.